Today's video is powered by... Secutor and So this is it, this is the Secutor Villities Invicta G Series. Very nice looking box, loving the imagery right there. Mixing the old with the new. That's what I love about this brand and this series of airsoft weapons. So let's get it open. And here you have this document. This is the test document saying that everything is okay. Now, when the marketing team got in contact with me and said, hey, SF Mike, would you like to review one of our new shotguns? You can choose whichever configuration you like. I went for this bad boy and you'll see why in a moment. It looks so modern, so cool. So what do we get in the box? Straight, well, look at that. I mean, come on. <laughs> so what do we get in the box? You got your instructions. Loving the stock on this. I'll show you that in a moment. So, what do we get? You get your complimentary bag of BBs, your shotgun shells, a speed loader, and your cleaning and unjamming rod. And of course, the shotgun itself. Right, let's get it all out. Now this is the sort of shotgun I would expect someone with a very tactical loadout to be rocking i'm telling you this thing looks awesome and you know what sets this apart from all my other pump action shotguns this bad boy is full metal now naturally when i say full metal your stock is going to be of a strong polymer build and of course that very cool looking pistol grip but mate, I'm telling you, everything else on this is metal, okay? All of that, metal. Even the part that you would expect to be of a plastic uh, polymer build. No, even the pump action handguard bit right here, that's metal. Even your little foregrip, metal. Come on! Everything else metal. This is some serious piece of kit, but... How does it perform? Well, let's go through the features and then we're gonna get this bad boy ready. And what I love about this the most, look, let me just grab one of these uh, shells right here. This shell alone holds 30 rounds. And the cool thing about it, you don't put the gas in the shell, the gas goes in this bad boy. So here, look, let me show you around this piece and I'm loving how it really does go nicely <laughs> with my loadout. Very swatty looking. <laughs> so let's start from this very cool looking stock. As you can see there, you have your QD sling point, naturally. On both sides, it has a retractable stock. Oh my gosh, I'm loving that pistol grip. Anyway, it has a retractable stock. Let's see how many positions it has. So I would call the closed position one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you look on the butt plate of the stock, it has a very nice design to it with some grippy texturing right there and absolutely loving what they've done there. Now sticking around the area of the stock, remember I said you actually put the gas in the shotgun itself. Let me show you where that is. So all you need to do is retract the stock, turn it around and there's your gas valve. And then we move along to this very nice looking pistol grip. Loving the grippy design you have on there. The serrations around here go all the way around. And it's almost like a sort of a sun ray effect. The way it gets larger as you get to this portion. And of course on the inside it's hollow where you will see a screw. So you can take the grip off when taking down this bad boy. Now, of course, I've already shown you the QD sling points. The great thing is they actually include one of the attachments for you. So you do have another QD sling point right here. 
But if you don't want the attachment to be there, you can uh, plug it in right there. And of course, you have the option of the other side. Okay, sticker be gone. Lovely. So as we move along, we get to the safety switch. So right now with the red showing, it's in fire mode. We're not ready to do that yet. So uh, now it's on safe. And then right here you have your trigger. And again, everything is metal. So your trigger guard and your trigger, full metal. And then right here, what you would normally see on a shotgun would be your action release. This opens up your loading gate. And then on the top, you have your rail. And at the rear of that, your rear sight. And the great thing about that, if you look closely, you can see it is adjustable. However, it's a shotgun, so you're probably not gonna be too fussed about fine tuning your sights. So as we move along this epic looking shotgun from Secutor, we get to the part that excites me the most. Would you look at that? Full metal construction, M-lock, handguard or M-Lock end. That also has this extra grip right there, which I was very surprised to see out of the box. Normally you would have to pay extra for this. And again, it's not some cheap piece of plastic, you know, afterthought. This is full metal. Now let me just flip it around the other side because it will be a lot easier to show you this in action. The way you can just put your hand like that You've got it very securely in there. So look, it hugs you from the front and the rear. Grab hold of it and it makes it very, oh, did you hear that? Ha! Anyway, makes it very comfortable and tactical. Oh, you've got to admit that sounded so satisfying. The click clack on this is approved. Do you know I'm going to start rating the click clacks on the Airsoft shotguns. Now I've got quite a few more brand new unopened shotguns to review in the future and I will be rating how the pump action sounds and this, I'm going to give this bad boy nine and a half out of ten for the click clack. Very nice. Now before I flip it back over to the other side, let me just quickly show you right there you have your serial number. Right, so I flipped it around to the more attractive side, but to be honest, the whole shotgun is blooming attractive, but I like this side even more because you've got your Secutor, Villettis, Invicta. Branding on the side right here, you've got your mock shell ejecting port. Right, so we are at the business end of this shotgun. So right here you have your magazine tube cap, with another little sling point on there. You can actually open this up. However, there's no reason to, unless you're about to take this down and do some maintenance or just disassemble the thing. And then you have your front sight. Nice. Now, when you look at these Secutor shells or cartridges, it's very cool that it holds 30. However, you will look at the front and think, ah, that means the BBs are gonna come out in a straight line. No, 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 because you want a bit of a spread when you're using a shotgun, whether it's a real one or an airsoft one. Take a look at the front. And you can see right there, you have three inner barrels as it were. So you're gonna get a pretty decent spread. And another cool thing about this shotgun is that you can choose between three rounds or six rounds per shot. So you can get up to 10 trigger pulls before you have to eject this bad boy and load up another. Right now, before I load this bad boy up, get it ready for a shooting test, let me show you where you select between the three shot or the six shot. So all you would do is you pump back, but do not return it. And of course, before you do all that, make sure it's on safe. Then if you look right there, get closer. Yes, right there. There's a little switch and you can switch between three or six. And if you look, you can see a number six. And that's what I'm gonna leave it on. However, 
If you're a bit stingy with your BBs and you don't want to waste all six on one enemy, you just slide that across so that it only fires three BBs. Okay, let's get it ready. So, open up your stock, fill it up with green gas, and I would say put about eight to 10 seconds worth of gas. Now, as I showed you earlier during the unboxing, you do get a speed loader. But this is my regular go-to on-camera speed loader because it's already got BBs in there and it's just ready to go. So I'm just gonna use this. And all you do is you fill it up from the top and you just keep going until it resists. I think that resisted. <laughs> right, that cartridge is ready. I'm gonna do the other two and then we're gonna test this bad boy. Okay, so all three cartridges are ready. Here we go. Getting excited now. Get ready for the click clack. Oh, oh, she clacks nice. <laughs> okay, let me take it off safe. So at close quarters, purely just gonna test this now. Oh, oh. She works. Now, because I was that close, naturally you're not gonna get a spread. Even that close though, look, there was a slight spread right there. But yeah, it works. Let's go a bit further back and try again. But just before we do that, I need to try something. Ha! Now, don't be too alarmed by that. It really isn't 858.6 <laughs> on the FPS, because if you look, it only registered it as one shot, where in fact, it was six BBs. This type of uh, chrono machine is the wrong type of chrono machine to use for shotguns, okay? Because you've got multiple BBs coming out, so you will get some crazy readings like that, which are not accurate. I'll give you the proper FPS on the screen right now. Right, let me destroy this target. <laughs> okay, so that was 10 feet away. You can see the spread that you get there. Let's try 20 feet away. And please note, I'm not aiming anywhere in particular on this target. I'm just gonna shoot anywhere. The purpose of this test is to show you the differences in the spread and there you can see it's starting to spread even more so this is what I'm talking about people on this particular segment of the video I've got my lighting equipment right there and my camera you right there and as this bad boy begins to spread the BBs there's a strong possibility I might damage all of this so I'm just gonna reposition the camera I'll be right back and we'll be standing at 40 feet away Now there you go, this is what I'm talking about. At 40 feet, you're beginning to see a more effective spread. And remember, it's two BBs coming out of each barrel at the same time. That's why you're only seeing three holes. Two BBs, one behind each other, times three. And naturally, if I was a lot further away from the target, you will see six, because the BBs will start to spread even more. baby nice that was the secutor velities invicta g5 so what are my initial thoughts on this airsoft pump action shotgun well straight away i love the fact that these shells take 30 rounds each and the shotgun gives you the option of a three shot system or a six shot system. I love that. And the gas efficiency 
is not bad at all. I was able to get well over 100 BBs fired from this shotgun before it even started to run out of gas. I also love that you don't have to put the gas in the shells. I love that the gas goes straight into the shotgun. I love that the shotgun is a full metal construction. I love how it looks, it looks very tactical. It goes with my black loadout very well and if you're gonna do a sort of a SWAT type loadout, this will be a very nice secondary or even a primary if you're a shotgun type of player. I love the overall design of it, the grip, the stock, the M-Lock end. everything looks awesome. However, uh, you, you knew there was going to be a big but or a however. You may be saying, what about the hop-up? Well, a hop-up on a shotgun that fires multiple BBs? No. Well, yes, it's got a fixed hop-up, okay? So you don't adjust it. You don't really need to adjust it because it fires multiple BBs. And the whole idea is it's going to spread. It's a shotgun. And I think it's pretty cool that you've got a rail on there too. Personally, I would be putting a camera on there, not a sight. But that's just personal preference. I'm sure a nice little red dot or something will look awesome on this shotgun. So check the video description where I will put a list of different retailers that stock Secutor products. And if you're in the UK, the retailer that I have put on the top is the first one that comes to mind when I think of Secutor shotguns in the UK. Now, if you live in other countries around the world, like America and many other places, there's other retailers that I will list down there who will ship this shotgun or any of the Secutor variants to you. And if your local retailer does not have this, ask them to get it in. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time on the Airsoft Mike YouTube channel.